Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Monster Hunter World, or at least the beta of it. Uh, this is December, month before release, and they gave us just a just a, a a smidge of the game to try out and wet our tastes and get really really addicted and disappointed because we can't play more anyway. Uh, so I'm going to be playing this in English alone in the beginning training area. Options, license. I just want to take a look at some of these things. Specifically, I wanted to see if I could turn down the sound effects. Oh, geez, that's kind of loud. And there's voice volumes. I'm, I'm gonna maybe do like a my usual distribution. Voice chat. I'm gonna turn that off. I don't want to deal with any of those. Sound up device. Can I do headphones? Sweet. Okay, language. English. There is actually uh, the Monster Hunter language for voice, but I'm gonna keep this to this for now. Okay, finalize and return to menu. Awesome. And the other one is license. License? Oh, I was like, Monster Hunter license on the main menu? Well, no. At some point, I'll turn it up to uh, uh, switch it over to Monster Hunter language, but I wanted to give it a shot for here. So, uh, looks like we only get a couple of pre-made characters for this one. So we can be... Uh, I like this guy. I almost wanted to say I liked this guy, but his like weird scraggly face and his eyes just look weird. Hey, we could be almost Loki, almost Thor. Kind of getting a solid snake vibe from this guy, but it's probably just the facial hair and whatnot. They actually put a lot of work into the hair. I'm kind of impressed. Well, let's be old man, old Mac, old man McMonster Hunterington. Let's see. Enter your name. Uh, how? Oh, there we go. I should probably just be Wanderbot. I'd like to be Dude, but uh, I don't know if it's going to mess with me here. Oh, I get a cat? I like this cat. <laughs> he looks sinister. Oh, this, these cats look adorable. Yeah, let's go with Sinister Cat. I'm sure... Okay, enter Palico's name. Shall. I'm naming my palico after you. Why? No. Shall we go back to a cuter looking palico? There we go. How about that one? Or this one? Do you like this one? I like the gray one. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're going gray green eyes and we're naming it Shell. Oops, one too many L's. I mean, I could just do a billion L's. Effect would be the same. Yes. Start this. Uh, start the game with this character. Yes. Yes, I'm naming it after Shell because I'm going to be playing it alone. So I might as well drag her in, at least in name only. I'd love to play Monster Hunter World with my friends, but only one of my friends has a PS4. And I think he's too busy to play with me. So, looks like we've got just three basic hunts. Great Devourer, Wild Sp by a rampage and ancient forest menace. I hope I get to switch my gear, or, like build some stuff. This might actually be a little bit on the sparse side of things. Oh, change equipment. Okay, so select the equipment you'd like to use. You can also change equipment during the quest from inside the base camp. Good to know. So we have steel axe, evergreen blade, shooters, hunters, spiked horns. All right, so it doesn't look like I'm actually going to be getting too far into this. Uh, let's see, can we see any of these? So this first fire, stun resistance, speed eating, recovery up, attack boost, defense boost. Let's go attack boost, primarily. Ooh. So, fire resistance, defense boost. So this is the one with the attack, the attack boost. There's also a critical eye. I'm just going to go glass cannon right now. And if this is a bad idea, well then this is a bad idea. Let's see, fire attack? Fire attack. Master mounter, recovery up, speed, attack boost. Up. Oh, almost done. And hunter leggings. Cliffhanger, recovery speed. Recovery speed might not be a bad idea, too. But I think this is good. Okay, so equipment box has everything. Maybe health booster. Don't know. I don't know what half of this stuff is. Uh, and I'm sure we're going to find out more once we actually play the game. But yeah, it's been 
a long time since I've played a uh, Monster Hunter game, so it's going to take a, a little while to get back used to this. So, Gilly Mantle conceals you from enemy view temporarily. Effect expires if you use an attack or take damage. Jump airtime grants the power to ride strong winds. Makes it easier to mount monsters. Uh, Challenger, more or less, is tank one. Eliminates damage reaction, prevents wind effects, protects your hearing. Okay, I like the rock steady mantle, probably, for this. And waterproof. Let's go rock steady for now. So, health booster. So, place a smoker that gradually restores your life. Okay, so it's it's a healing field type thing. Yeah, let's not do that. Okay, defense charm. So defense boost, evade window, attack boost. Let's go attack boost. And see, do we have a so steel axe looks to be our our basic switch axe. That's the thing I'm most used to, used to. We do also have hatchets, jaw blade. I think I'm probably gonna stick with what what I'm used to for now. We're only going to be doing a little bit, because uh, I do actually want to play multiplayer with people. I just have... Uh, ooh. Let's give it a ranged weapon. Get my palico out of the way. Let's see. Oh, I love the cosmetics for everything. <gasps> oh, this... <laughs> it's a little dinosaur helmet. I love it. Okay. Uh, let's... Let's do... Let's make shell into a nice little dinosaur cat. There we go. Uh, this menu is throwing me for a bit of a loop. So, Vigor Wasp, sp Vigor Wasp Spray. Recover the hunter's health. Provoke monsters. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep shell as a healer. And let's get going. I'm really excited for this game. I cannot wait for it to actually fully come out. But uh, right now, I'm just, I don't know. I i, I want to be semi-thorough. I probably should have just dove right into combat, and I apologize for managing. Well, I guess I could always just cut it out or something like that. I don't know. I just like the look of everything. We've received eyewitness reports of our target, the Great Jagras, roaming around these parts. So let's get right to it. Open up your map. This here is our current location. After a feast, the great Jagras can be found waddling back to its nest, scraping its big belly along the ground. Try heading over to this area here and search for any clues it may have left behind. Once you've tracked it down, go and put a three-star hurtin' on it. Oh, and one more thing, you're being timed. All right, off I go. This is... Okay, so we have the regular sprint. We have roll. Okay. The scout flies have found something. Go get a closer look. See footprints. Great! The scout flies have locked onto the scent of the monster. Be on the lookout for more tracks or traces. That's neat. So that there's... There's these, like, scout fly things to help me figure out where to go, sort of. Uh, I see more over here. Uh, can I... What was that? Oh, I can get water moss. This should work as slinger ammo. You can use it to hit things that are far away. So I guess I get, like, a slingshot thing. The scout flies have picked up the monster's trail. Follow the green light they leave behind. Let's see. Oh, skid marks. What are we doing under the skid marks? Did I find something, or... It looks like I'm almost leveling up my tracking skill as we do this. I I wonder how many RPG elements there are, or if this is just uh, progress towards finding the creature. If you can't find it on your own. If you follow the scout flies to your target, you'll locate it in no time. I... I don't honestly know. I am I am both like mystified and excited about all of these things. 
Okay, so we have more footprints. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about the whole footprints thing. Like, I kind of want to... I kind of want to just check them all out. Because it says level up. Which, like... I guess is kind of pointless for this. But it would be... Oh, it even shows up in the minimap. Holy shit, that's a nice minimap. Shows you where, like, half the stuff is. Okay, well, it said I was being timed, so I should probably, uh... I should probably speed this up a little bit. This looks so good. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy it twice. Which kind of sort of sucks, but... You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. No. Okay, you know what you have to do. Get in there and do your stuff. How do I fight? What is button to fight? There we go. The switch axe has two forms, axe and sword. You can power up the sword attacks by injecting them with file energy. The scout flies will hide once the fight breaks out. Don't forget that. It, oh, no, I have taken a little bit of damage. Okay, yeah, it's been a while. I am already loving this. This feels so much better than, uh... The monster's been immobilized. Now's your chance. For what, exactly? Was there a button prompt? No. I thought there was a button prompt, but I guess it's just wail on them. Well. We can always switch to sword mode. Yeah, I really like switch axe. I think I will always like switch axe. This feels so good. Let's see. Oh boy. That monster is really mad now. Be Ow. ready for some vicious attacks. Well. I think. Oh, right. Dodge their attacks. You don't want to take hits like that head on. I remember now. I don't want to, um. I don't want to be in sword mode because you can't dodge. Uh, necessarily. I am just knocking this guy down repeatedly. <laughs> Is he just not gonna fight me? Am I just going to wail on this poor iguana until it's. until there's just nothing left? almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. Let's see. How do I... Is this? Oh, no. These are favorites. The rock steady mantle mitigates damage and reduces how much you react to getting hit. <laughs> you cannot run from me, Mr. Lizard. Oh, did I... Did I hit... Shell in there? I am. That's all. Oh, well, that was fast. Well, I guess I can go into a harder hunt. All right, you completed the quest. Congrats. God, that lip sync is atrocious. Like it is not good lip sync at all. But also, like whatever. I don't know. I I'm just glad that there's voice acting, so I don't have to read out the tutorialization. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be like, turn turn on. Ah, hi. Uh, and we leave. Bye. I'm sure a number of you guys will ask me to switch it on to the Monster Hunter language and also Japanese and or Japanese. Awesome. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, maybe once we're past the initial... T well, no, you know what? I'll do it for this because listening to her is pointless. Uh, but I think for when we hit the main game, I'll turn it on at least for the beginning and like whenever we hit plot stuff. Okay, completing Great Devourer, Great, Great Jagras has earned you the Beginner Commendation Pack. Containing items focused on boosting your health. You can claim it in the retail version of the game. Oh, interesting. So I'm getting, um... Uh, I'm getting little bonus packs uh, that I can carry over into the main game for me. We don't get full progress, which... Honestly, I really wish this was just, like, the first three hunts. Like, the first hour or two of the game... And then it just all carried over. I prefer betas like that. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. I uh, read it, my hunter and palico. No. Well, I guess we'll just do Wildspire Rampage next. Uh. Oh right. Let's return to the main screen for a second. Let's listen to the monster hunter language because I can always read it out loud. Uh, if there's a lot of plot to this game, I'll probably switch it to English just so I don't have to read it out loud and so you guys don't have to read it. I'm gonna turn the sound effects back up. It was a bit quieter than I thought it was going to be. 
I'll turn the music back up too. Honestly, screw voices, we don't even care about it. Voices! Monster Hunter language. And then I'll try multiplayer in a little while. Not gonna edit them. Oh, no! We want to go back to the title screen. We actually do want to re-edit my, uh... We do want to re-edit my weapons because I'm... I would like to try a different weapon. I guess I could have actually done that from... I could have done that from within the camp. I didn't even think about that. Is this name okay? Yeah, sorry guys. Well, that's okay. Enter this. I'm being a little bit uh, casual for this because it's just the beta. Start the game with this character. Or is re-edit not include the equipment? Oh, yep. Bit scatterbrained, bit not paying attention, bit not knowing what I'm doing. There we go. This is how we do it. Okay, so let's switch from the steel axe. Let's see. There's gun lance. There's the evergreen blade, which I believe is one of the shield axes. Yeah. Shield sword axe things. I like these, too. They're a little weird. Let's see, we have the feathered blade, which is the... This is the kinsec blade, if I remember right. Ooh. Looks cool, though. Yeah, let's go with that. This thing looks awesome. Uh, skill info, f attack boost, fire... Oh, hello. Yeah, let's let's go with this. Let's let's give this a shot. Ideally, eventually, when we actually have the full series out, I will try one of every weapon. Hell, I'm probably going to do multiple runs of each of these fights. I wonder if I get the reward multiple times. Um... But I kind of want to just try out every weapon. I'm a huge fan of the Switch Axe, and I really liked the Axe Shield and Dual Blades. Uh, but I should probably give some of the other weapons a shot, especially if I'm going to be playing multiplayer. I might as well give ranged weapons a go. Okay, so it's the same It's the same tutorial thing. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it on the Monster Hunter language for non-plot stuff. But for plot stuff, I'll turn on the voice acting just so everybody can understand, and I can just sit back and listen. Otherwise, we just get to listen to them, them say uh, gibberish. Bye! Yeah, there's stones, there's bunches of things. I could run around and fight things if I wanted to. Oh, footprints. Old footprints. I really like this tracking system and a bunch of other things. Like, the world design, the UI and stuff, they really decided to go all out for this one, and I am a huge fan of that. So, yeah, we can collect all these things. Oh, gathering is so much faster. Oh, man. Yeah, I I loved I loved the previous Monster Hunter games that I've played, uh, but they always felt slow, clunky, and a little ugly. Uh, this actually feels like it's going to be maybe not perfect for me. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to find some kind of complaint at some point along the way. But right now I'm just agog with the general design. So yeah, let's see if uh, we have paratoads. So is there... There's the map here. Oh, sh... Okay, so we should go back here. I guess the, I guess if we want to be on the, uh, on the exact hunt, we're okay. Now, I'm trying to figure out how the clock works in the corner. It looks like we only have approximately what twenty minutes to complete this hunt. I guess that's actually like totally fair. I was like, that's not much time at all, and I'm like, wait a second, no, that's plenty of time. I'm. For those of you that didn't see my Dauntless series, I think I was always a little bit bothered. Oh yeah, there's some footprints. I was always just a little bit bothered by the, uh... Yeah, I gotta pay attention to where the scout flies actually fly. Uh, bothered by just how tight the time limit was. It feels like Monster Hunter World is much more like, yeah, the fights only last a couple of minutes, uh, at least early on. Eventually, we're going to have some serious, like, tight calls. I am sure. 
But at least for now, this, this feels better. Poor Dauntless. I so wanted to like you. And that's probably going to be the last I mention of it for a while. A lot of old footprints around here. This will probably be a lot easier with, uh, with other people. Like, being able to, uh... Being able to work with other people to be like, Hey, by the way, monster's over here. Uh, and everybody's, like, looking for footprints at the same time. Looks like we'll uh, make life easier, but I just love the fact that you can actually track the critters. Old broken anthill. There we go. Monster is officially tracked. Oh, you can even... You can see the uh, scout flies. I'm sliding? Oh, can I sand surf in this game? I might actually be able to sand surf. That's exciting. And yeah, we've got a bunch of these little critters all over the place. That I will probably go hunting for. Repeatedly. To get extra resources. This feels... feels super good. Okay, aim slinger is left trigger. Oh, okay, so I can sling things. Well, it's not the flying creature. It's not these, like, turtle things. There you are. Okay, you... Okay, ex uh, harvest extract. I don't think I can do that. Okay, we've already broken his face somehow. I'm not entirely sure how or where or what, but that's okay. Get back here. I'm really liking this... Damn it, missed him. I'm really liking this Kinsex staff. I might give this more of a go. Whoop. Ow. Okay, this guy is going to hurt a little bit more. Ow. Yeah, the problem is he's charging a lot here. <sighs> Tried rolling underneath it. Unfortunately, we don't get uh, much for iframes. Oh. Was that just poop? Oh. He is just shitting everywhere. Ow. Dying. Okay, this guy is going to be a lot more of a problem than I thought it was going to be. Uh, keep my distance, use a potion. Well, we do have potions aplenty. Okay. Yeah, all I need to do is knock him down once, and we'll be okay. Well, we probably won't be. This camera angle is a problem. I wonder if there's a way that I can... Well, we're breaking parts off of him. So that's good, at least. Now. I gotta figure out how to use some of the air combos. For this big lunk, this dude is dodgy. Okay, can I... So that's how we do some of them. Ow. Oh, stay away from the poo piles. Where is he... Where is he even going? I don't know. We took some chunks off. I love the fact that you can see as much removed from this guy. Oh, well, I didn't need to drink a potion there, now, now that I think about it. Okay. Bap. Bap. But yeah, I, I love the fact that you can see all of the damage that you're doing to this guy. Because I, like, I actually feel like I'm hurting him. Get him, beetle thing! I don't actually... Huh. Can you... Doesn't look like it's necessarily... I think I was supposed to uh, harvest a specific resource. 
Uh, and not this. Okay. Now is it time for a healing potion? Nope. It does... F this game feels so much faster than previous Monster Hunters. I could be wrong about that. I'm barely harming this guy, but I think that's kind of the point. He's supposed to take some serious effort to harm. Okay, monsters on the move. Use the scout flies to go after it. Keeping up with them pretty well. Damn it. You can use jump attacks to mount monsters. Yeah, I'm aware. Alright. Oh, he's just over here, yeah? Yeah, there he is. Is that my Palico? Oh. Oh, that's uh that's another Palico. That's good to know. I wonder you've gotta be able to bust off his face. If you want to. Okay. How do I get this guy to help? I have no idea. There's got to be some way. No. There's got to be a way to get the bow. Okay. Oh, vault. R2 plus X. So that's how I can vault. Ow. That didn't work. I don't know what's going on. Get out of his way. Okay, got him. So that's how you vault. This is cool. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, looks like we have a friend. Okay, the Grimalkines are are restra restraining the monster. Meowster, <laughs> sorry. Weapon's losing sharpness. I will deal with that in a bit. Okay, does not look like I can, uh... It does not look like I can... Uh, do much here. Let's stay away from his face, maybe. I'm trying to not hit his, uh... His face as much as possible. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, so... I'm just hitting Shell repeatedly here. Oh, and he's gone. Okay, well, now's the time. Max Potion, well done, Steak. Let's eat the steak. We have bombs, poison knife, paralysis. We have a lot of things here. We also seem to have infinite whetstones, which is good. Okay, let's keep going for a little bit longer. I don't think Shill's happy that I named the Palico after her now that I can accidentally whack her repeatedly. I am sorry. Okay, do we have any other... Potions. We have Mega Potions, which I'm running low on. Let's see. Right Trigger... Right Trigger Jump? Nope. Right Trigger Nothing. There we go. So it looks like this... This spear... It looks like this spear is really if you want to get on top of this sucker. It's actually really cool. I don't know how often I'm going to use it necessarily. But I like it. Because mounting attacks are neat. Okay, slash fury. Alright, well we got it down as a result. Ow. Are, are these other critters pissed off at it? They might be.
Let's see. Ow. I don't know if the other the other monster is fighting me or what. Oh, they are fighting each other. Well, that helps. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat this one. However, it does make my life easier. Oh, I like the fact that you can do this. Ow. Monster is tired, chance to deal some damage. Man. This is why I need, uh... This is why I need me a ranged weapon. Okay, get back here. This is battle time. Ugh. I keep hitting his face. Trying to avoid hitting anything else, but that's okay. Is the other monster still helping me? I don't even know where he is. I'm just gonna put the uh, Baroth between myself and it. Ooh, Baroth's even missing tail bits. Nope. I have to get ahead of it if I want to do that. Okay, no mud bats for you. There's a no mud bath zone. It's gone, isn't it? No, it's not. It's still in here. He's just trying to get his uh he's just trying to get his mud on. Is the other monster still here? No. Yeah, so you could probably blast his face off. You know if I had been thinking I would have actually dropped a bomb on top of this guy. I really like that launch. I really like this launch mechanic. It is cool. Oh, brace. Attack, 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 attack. I was trying to. Oh. We're just trying to figure out what the hell's going on half the time here. This is gonna take a lot of getting used to. Brace. Brace. Attack. This is really cool. They really figured out how to make a good Monster Hunter game, didn't they? Time left, five minutes. I think we've got that. I mean, we've more or less got this guy on the muddy, muddy ropes. <laughs> oh my god, does Shell just have this cute, adorable, like, little mushroom floater? So she's not... she does? Ow. Right out of the air. Okay, Vigor Wasp, thank you. Okay, yeah, I don't think I will use this weapon in the future. I like the idea of it. Uh, I think I'll learn how to master it eventually. But right now, uh, not... Does he make, like, steam engine noises? He does. That is really cool. And really amusing. Fortunately, getting close to him sucks. Just a little bit. Okay, he's down now. I don't know how much I can... Is he kicking me? He is kicking me away. That is very much not appreciated. And he's done. Whoo, boy! That took a little bit more effort, but kind of surprise unsurprisingly, his uh, model did not like that, not in the slightest. <laughs> oh, that was fun. This is a good game. This is an officially good game. I guess I should probably salvage this thing. I was just kind of standing around uh, looking at the little kitty cat. Barath material obtained by breaking its scalp. Okay. Yeah, someday I'll know how to play this game truly properly. Until then, we'll find out. That poor journal is probably just covered in mud by this point. Ugh. I guess that took 16 minutes, and we get an intermediate commendation pack, which is just useful items. Doesn't look like we get to keep any of the 
the goods, but that's okay. And I've already bought the game, so please stop telling me to buy it, Capcom. I don't, I don't need to be told. Alright, well, I guess that'll be the end of episode one. I'll pick this back up with uh, some streams tonight, honestly, because uh, I, I want to get some friends up in this. I want to try some ranged weapons, I want to try some other weapons, and mainly I just want to have some help. Uh, so I'll be picking that up in a couple hours. But for now, I guess I will see you guys on either the next episode of the Monster Hunter World Beta, or uh, when the game fully releases. Uh, so I guess with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.